In the heart of the Mount Lonako area, in the littoral region of Cameroon, lies the world's largest frog, the Goliath frog. Just like the name Goliath, the frog is indeed big. A fully grown Goliath frog weighs up to 3.3 kilograms and is up to 30 centimeters long. The giant frog lives in secondary forests and beside flint streams and waterfalls from where they come out at night to feed on insects, fish, and other smaller amphibians. Through its feeding habit, the giant slippery frog contributes to limiting the spread of malaria and yellow fever, which are deadly diseases in Cameroon and other parts of Africa. Despite contributing to limiting the spread of diseases and in maintaining the ecosystem, the Goliath frog remains a delicacy in communities within the Mount Lonako area. Well, one time we go into hunting because the through that hunting we were able to get a uh, we were able to get something to mix with the, with the food. Yes, yes. At least 20,000 of these emblematic species in Cameroon are harvested and sold every peak season, that is, from November to February. This means that up to 5,000 individuals of the Goliath frog in Cameroon disappear from the Earth's surface every month during its peak season. The Goliath frog is classified as endangered on the IUCN Red List and is located only in Cameroon and the Equatorial Guinea. With the rate at which this emblematic species is being harvested, it risks disappearing from the Earth's surface if no urgent actions are taken. Voice of Nature, Vonard, is a Cameroon based biodiversity conservation and sustainable development non profit organization engaged in conserving the giant slippery frog. In 2022, its executive director received a grant from the National Geographic Society, which the organization has leveraged to educate 100 kids and young adults from five communities within the Mount Lonako area on the ecology, behavior, distribution of amphibians around the world, conservation threats and importance, and the actions they can take. Is to educate the population on the importance of preserving and conserving the Goliath frog and other species found around Mount Lonako. The youngsters from five communities in the Mount Lonako area are divided into two groups and engaged in the ecological study of the Goliath frogs and other amphibians in their range habitats during the day and at night. It is one of the key areas here in the Mount Lonako area that is close to Goliath frog, the world's largest frog. We have children here from over five communities in the Mount Lonako area and we are carrying out ecological studies of the amphibian uh, species that are found in this area. We just found a frog species and the children are very excited studying this uh, frog species and even as we move around and collect data about other amphibian species, the different threats that are exposed to, their feeding signs and also getting the vocalizations. The experiential learning sessions reconnected the children to nature and further enlightened their understanding about the different amphibian species in their communities and the threats they are exposed to. <laughs> The amphibian species recorded during the ecological study are identified and studied using the iNaturalist software. The lessons learned and amphibians' ecological data are translated into different media art tools for Vonard's Save the Frog Outreach and Sensitization campaign. The Bonat technical team and community kids organized special slots on local television and radio stations in which they call on local communities to retreat from the wanton haunting and habitat destruction through poetry and article presentations, debates and songs. Bye.
One of the high points of the Save the Goldyard Frog Owl Rich and Sensitization campaign is on May 20, 2023, being Cameroon's National Day Celebration and Endangered Species Day. The close to 100 kids that have been part of the project to save the world's largest frog from extinction in the Mount Lonako area used this event to translate their zeal for endangered amphibians' conservation into concrete actions. They march past in front of over 1,000 community members, including traditional authorities, policy makers, and local administrators, amongst others, brandishing posters and drawings of the Goliath frog and other endangered amphibian species they want protected and some conservation messages. There is also an exhibition stand to better educate community members about the conservation of the Goliath frogs and other amphibians in the Mount Lonako area, habitat pollution and destruction, trapping and hunting, and other activities that further jeopardize the existence of endangered amphibians, especially the Goliath frog, are some of the poor environmental practices the young amphibian stewards advocate strongly that their communities stop. Ne plus polluer de l'eau, ne plus pratiquer la déforestation, ne plus pratiquer l'agriculture sur lui, ne plus pratiquer le braconnage. Merci beaucoup tous, chères populations, luttons contre les menaces des amphibiens, plus précisément les grenouillettes. The conservation messages have been well received by community members and their local leaders. Il y a des espèces qu'il faut protéger, il y a des écosystèmes qu'il faut qu'il faut protéger et justement c'est cette raison que nous encourageons votre mouvement. Nous avons aussi le devoir de le protéger afin que après nous nos enfants puissent aussi en bénéficier. Your presence here has really gone a long way to educate and create awareness on the ease of 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 of, of destroying our wildlife species. Though conscious of the need to conserve the Goliath frog and other endangered species in their communities, local hunters say the provision of an alternative livelihood support scheme is the best way for them to stop hunting the Goliath frog and other endangered species in this area. If I, have, if I have a business now I'm doing, you cannot you cannot, you cannot sell me type of dresses, I cannot go to the farm. Because I only abuse in the town, I only buy my fish. I go, I can have something to I can buy my fish, I can buy my fowl, eh? and, and I eat. Because of there's no meat, that, that's where we, we involve ourselves, that we, that we cannot be alone. With more and more conservation consciousness being generated within communities in the Mount Lonako area, there is an urgent need to assess and provide alternative sustainability schemes to hunter of Goliath frog and farmers, destroy amphibians habitat to divert their attention from depleting these emblematic species and their habitats. There is also the need for more hands-on conservation actions with the community kids and young adults to sustain the newfound conservation zeal in them.